Hello, welcome to my channel. My brand new Hero Quest game has arrived. So myself and all the other UK backers will be getting this game this week. I won't be doing a true unboxing video since there's many of them already on the internet. But I will be mostly looking at the miniatures. The ones you can see here are in the basic game. These red characters are heroes and most of these are exclusive to the Mythic Tear collection. This will add a lot more choice and variety to the game. Traditionally the game only came with four male characters. A wizard, a dwarf, a barbarian and an elf. Now we have the female equivalent plus additional heroes. So in theory we could play both barbarians together. The only characters we can't do this with are the wizards since there's only one set of spell cards. Or if we wanted to we could play with a completely different lineup. It's nice to have options. These are your four basic characters. We have a male barbarian, a female elf, a male dwarf and a male wizard. The expanded set includes Mentor Wizard, the Warlock, the Bard, the Male Elf, the Female Dwarf, the Female Wizard, the Female Barbarian, Sir Ragnar who is not a full character, and then we move on to the Female Elf, the Male Dwarf, the Male Wizard, the Male Barbarian, and lastly we have the Druid character. This huge model is a dragon, Venom, and he's exclusive to the Mythic tier. Here are both gargoyles in the set. We have the unarmed one and the armed one. These are the mighty Dread Warriors. There are two different scoops here. We have the standard mace design, plus the exclusive with a sword. And these replace the Chaos Warriors from the original game. These hideous things are appropriately called abominations. These replace the femur in the original game. Now for your main evil characters. We have two types of skeletons, one with the classic scythe and one with the sword and shield. These are your goblins, there are four different scoops altogether. The mummy figures have gone for a very traditional design. figures look more ferocious than the original counterpart. For the Orc there are five different sculpts in total. far more dice than what we'll ever need with this game, so players won't have to share as much. There are four types of doors available, the open, the closed, the iron door and the reinforced door. All the furniture comes in solid plastic, no more flimsy cardboard this time.
So it looks like I've got a lot of painting coming up in the coming weeks. And that concludes our quick look at the figures and furniture in the Hero Quest Mythic tier set. And if you missed out, the basic set will be coming to retail within the next two or three months. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, if I can do it, so can you.